Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are having us on this journey back to unconditional love. Love of the journey, love of each other, back to our soul group that are definitely helping us piece together this amazing jigsaw to bring us back to the soul group that are helping us back to our one true loves, our divine loves. And if you are a twin flame, then you are absolutely signed up to cut. You signed up to this, so you're a sturdy soul. You can absolutely do it. And apart from that, you are here to raise love and light on the planet, to live in the love vibration, to basically let love be your guiding light. So, if you're drawn to my channel, then I do a um, Divine Love Crystal Grid, which uses Holy Fire Reiki energies. You receive a piece of rose quartz like this. And when you meditate with that, send love to your twin and also out to raise love and light on the planet. The power of collective intent to bring all twin flames into their, into their union is huge. It actually brings spirit into matter. So it's all about bringing unconditional love into your reality, right? And by doing that, you balance the energies between your twins. And then it is literally up to the universe to make it happen for you. Your divine plan is already written. We're just piecing together the pieces of the jigsaw. Um, I also divine, do divine love healing. It is only £20 for, feb for February. I connect to your souls, get you the messages that your souls want you to know to keep you in the heart space and to make your ride easier. The other thing is I, can, I see everything like a film. So you get a healing using Holy Fire Reiki, but you also, I use crystals as well. And I use some shamanic healing various different healing modalities but um yeah i connect to your soul see everything like a film give you a write-up give you a mantra when you repeat the mantra it basically uplifts your energy because we are on an energetic journey to love right it's all about love love is the highest vibration we are vibrational beings you just have to think you just have to say the word love basically i love i love i love i love i love and how does that make you feel? Amazing, right? So that's that's all we're doing. We're here to raise love and light on the planet. So part two of the message for today is just <laughs> more messages from healings. And the reason why I've put this particular book up is because it relates to somebody's healing that I did. So, and the and because she sent me an email this morning, I happened to, she was the late, um, the other day I said that, um, toad stalls had been coming up in somebody's healing then another lady sent me a note to say that she had bought toad stall lanterns from a charity shop the next day or the day before or whenever anyway so I was just responding to her and I happened to look um at the bottom of the email was the last bit of the healing that I wrote for her and it was about that she had seen a got uh, that I'd seen a golden carrot in a treasure box and so this is the this how this is this is just to show you how it works so basically when I was staying at the triplets over this week this is the book that they kept wanting me to read for them and you know very symbolic that it's about waking up and this little girl that, that she's asleep and they try lots of different things to wake her up and not only that, it's a cat, it's an owl, it's a, um, I can't, the other animals, there are all animals that have been symbolic on this journey. But at the end, the last page, there was a triple heart, and out of the middle heart, there was a carrot. And I thought, I was drawn to it because I thought, how bizarre, why have they got a carrot hanging out of this heart in the middle of the, of the heart? You know, first of all, I was like, oh, it's amazing. It's the Trinity. It's three hearts. But then I was like, well, what, what's up with the carrot? Anyway, and then just this morning, I've just just responding to her email and I saw that she had the golden carrot in her healing. So, you know, this is why it's so amazing. This is why you just know that we're piecing together this, this jigsaw puzzle, which is completely off the scale, bonkersly amazing. Because it's already done, right? It's already done which is what we're seeing more and more and more with these connections and with these synchronizations and with these, you know, you know, the fact that we're moving into the love vibration and we're all vibrating at the same level, you know, it means that we are completely telepathic with each other. Not sooner do I get an email from her 
uh, basically I think something and then one of you sends me an email about it um, and vice versa you know you're we're always prompting each other so that's how these messages just you know I could literally carry on doing messages all day and videos all day from things people send me so it's amazing it really is amazing because we're moving into this soul group where we complete completely are completely one really one consciousness one heart one love so this is the next i'm just going to do a couple of more healing stories because they're brilliant i mean they're brilliant and they just give everyone you know that sort of boost let you live more in the love vibe all right so this one it was about and her healing very similar to someone else's or a couple of people's actually it's about a roundabout and on the roundabout there's certain exits there's three exits one is fear one is hurt and one is love and i see them going around in a white van at the beginning um and they have to t and they basically turn off the different turning posts at uh, the different exits and they have to heal certain things so she says, thanks, Nikki. <laughs> and then she goes, wow, what can I say? When I first started dating my twin, he had, yes, indeedy, a transit van. Even, oh, I think I even stipulated it was a white transit van. Even now he has a white Vauxhall van. The roundabout is also of significance for more than one reason. I often have this flashback to us driving around a roundabout in Newcastle where we went on our first date. There's something about the way he turns the steering wheel that has kept playing over in my mind. <laughs> bizarre, I know, but true. Don't worry, I've got some very bizarre things that play over in my mind as well. Um, <laughs> when I visited him when he lived in London, like uh, we spent a lot of time driving around trying to get parked in that van. I've also sat, felt we have gone round and round in circles in our connection. I can certainly relate to the exit points and the words you heard hold huge meaning for us. If I could repeat to you the many conversations we have had over the years, you could see how incredibly relevant your healing is. You have completely confirmed what my guidance has been telling me recently. It's funny. I heard the song Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now is a song I've woken up to playing in my head many times over the course of this journey. But I'd totally forgotten it was the theme tune to the film Mannequin. Kim Cattrall has been on my mind a lot this week and I, now I know why. I actually just googled her and she tweeted this one hour ago, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, <laughs> how mental is that? And at the start of the music video when he's on the motorbike, well my twin got into motorbikes when we initially separated and has come to visit me on his various models over the last few years. So my twin also, wanted, last um, he told me that he wanted to get a little moped kind of thing, you know like his Vespa, one of those little Italian things. So like your twin, he's into an extreme sport and started racing bikes last year. He wants to do the Isle of Man TT, which terrifies me, but never mind. So as soon as she said TT, it reminds me of Audi TT. Again, Audis are the, four, the car symbolization that we've had. It has the four rings, which relates back to the marker bar, which relates back to your light body, which relates back to the fact that we're rising up in the love vibration and increasing our light bodies. So, and your video this morning, well, I had an intense dream about a baby lying on my stomach last night and have been feeling strange urges in that direction this week. I don't particularly want children, but when I first met my twin, I had the most incredible, incredibly vivid dreams about being pregnant with his child. And the Alhambra Palace, I said that I saw the little boy came and gave me a magnet and the magnet was from of the Alhambra Palace in Spain. And he gave that to me, I think it was yesterday morning. She says, wow, and this is, she's now, I think the fourth or fifth person that has said, no way. She says, well, a mutual friend of my twin and I spent Christmas there this year, and I was looking at his photos of it on New Year's Eve. My aunt and uncle, whom I live next door to, also went there a few years ago. It's mad because I've talked about it twice this week to other people. Again, thank you so very much. I definitely want to stay at the love exit. How beautiful. So, you know, this is why these things are just off the scale amazing. Because it just shows how incredibly, incredibly connected we all are. Um, and it really does completely blow your mind. Okay, the last one I'm going to read. I've been listening to your YouTube videos for a while now and trying to get the courage to join your grid. 
by the way, you don't need any courage to join it. It's just a because nothing. Basically, you receive a piece of rose quartz, and then you can send love out to your twin and out to raise love and light on the planet. Um, so I'm just gonna cut to. She recommends some books and things. So she says, um, I went to see a Reiki master for my first class and he said, well, that is something I've never seen before. I questioned him and he said he had seen something like a blue beam shoot from my heart area up to the sky while he was giving my achievement. This particular Reiki class was $100. I've been worried about the money and almost cancelled the class. But the morning before the class, I parked my car and was about to walk into work and happened to see something flapping in the wind. It was a $100 bill laying in the car parking lot. I was totally floored. Like you say, we just can't make this stuff up. I saw your video on David and Solomon. Has anyone pointed out the names of the ladies associated with these men? Bath Sheba and Queen of Sheba. Queen of Sheba came up the other day. I was intrigued by this, so I did some more researching. Apparently the Sheba part of the name also means Shua, which reminded me of Jeshua, another day named for Jesus. However, it also means daughter of the eight of, or daughter of the seven. Seven has, happens to be a huge number for me in my life. But there is a book out by a man named Dr. Brian Sykes called The Seven Daughters of Eve. The book is about how all existing lineages can be traced back to seven women believed to be the daughters of Eve. Also, have you heard of the Heros Gamos? This is a sacred union having to do with sacred sexuality. Do a Google, Google search in it, it's very interesting. I heard about the Heros Gamos from another series of books that all twin flames should look into. They are by Kathleen McGowan, and the first book is called The Expected One. There are three books in total. In her book, she discusses the sacred unions of Jesus and Mary and other couples and how history has covered up a lot of these truths. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, I just love the unexpected information I got from these books. The author talks about a hidden teaching supposedly written by Jesus called the Libro Rosso or the Red Book. The Red Book, I mean that's interesting right? The book is reportedly all about love and the sacred union of twin souls. I did some research in myself and apparently this book really exists. The book talks of Solomon and Sheba and actually talks about the Song of Solomon that I heard you talking about recently. The last book talks about how the masculine twins are poet princes. I thought this was interesting because my twin has written me some beautiful poems. The saying goes, I have loved you before, I love you today, I will love you again, the time returns. Well, there you go. How amazing. I'm going to put all of those book references into the description box. I also have been sent another book, but it's like 638 pages. It's about living in the matrix or something like that. But it's all about light bodies and all about giving, you know, basically divine masculine, divine feminine. So if you want that, it's a PDF book. So if you do want to have a copy of that book, then I can forward it to you. But you have to email me for it. So it's divinelovecrystalgrid at gmail.com if you want a copy of that book. All right, well, there you go. Amazing messages. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And come join for me for healing. All details are in the link. Okay, bye.